special day. We are gathered here to celebrate the baptism of Brooklyn and Brody today. And I'm going to read something that Papa Kirk had said. We will begin with a verse that Papa wants his family to embrace in John chapter 17, verse 24, to realize that Jesus Christ said to his father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory. The glory you have given me because you loved me before the creation of the world. All that we do today was realized by God before the creation of the world. These words are very important to Papa, and he wants you to realize Brooklyn's and Brody's baptism is known to our living God before we ever took our first breath. Before we ever were conceived, God knew that we were going to be here, and God knew that this day was going to happen. A very special day. Glenn and Danielle are presenting their children for baptism. There are questions, and that's why they're written down, because we don't want to forget any of these questions, that I will ask before your family, folks, and friends. And you can answer, I will, I do, whatever you feel compelled. Do you profess your faith in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and affirm the promise of God made to you and your children in his word? Do you promise to instruct these children by word and example with the help of your Christian community, your folks and friends, in the truth of God's word and in the way of salvation for Jesus Christ? Do you promise to pray for them and teach them to pray? Do you, do, you promise, do you promise to nurture them, surrounding them with other believers as citizens of, God, of Christ's kingdom? Since you responded, you will, by the grace of God and to the call of the gospel, these children will be baptized. I ask you and all gathered here before God to reject sin and to profess your faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to read this, and if you just answer, I will, or I do. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of evil that rebel against God? I Amen. renounce them. Do you intend to be Christ's faithful people? I do. I do. Trusting his promises, obeying his word, honoring his church, and knowing always that with two or more gathered, you are a church. With two or more gathered together, you have a church. It doesn't have to be a big building, and it's said in the Bible when two or more are gathered. Honoring the church and showing his love as long as you live. I would, I, my answer would be with God's help. And so with God's help, if you feel that same way, that you'll do the best that you can to guide these children. And now I'm going to present the godparents of Brooklyn. And they're Josh, and if you could just just wave a hand or whatever, Josh back there, and Ola. And Brody's godparents are Shane and Nani. Okay, I'm going to read you some questions. If these apply to you, and only you. Will you promise to establish a special relationship with Brooklyn and Brody? If so, answer, I do or I will. Will you support Brooklyn and Brody through prayer? This is more important than material things and all the things in life. It's by prayer and establishing a relationship that they know that you're their godparents. And, and with anything, God forbid, or anything with their family, whether they have to be away or whether they're in sickness and they rely on you, that the children, till they're very old, you are their godparents. I know that I, I'm 61 years old and I have a godfather that lives in New York. And I know that I could call him even at this stage of the game and say, what's up? So I just want, I want you to share that. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, proclaimed him your beloved son and anointed him with the Holy Spirit, grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns in glory for everlasting. Amen. 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 And Lori, if you can come up here, because Lori's going to, and I need the children. Brody. Okay. Brooklyn, if you could come here first, honey bun. And then just pour that in there. 
Cody. This is real special. It's real special. Real spe oh, you'll find out it's special. Now, see, that's the thing that don't be alarmed at because normally during this time, the devil does his duty. And either they scream really loud or they say, I don't want to do it. So, all right. Our Lord said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Brooklyn, Shiami Asam. Let me baptize. It's okay. It's all right. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're done, baby. It's, you've been sealed with the covenant. Jesus is believe in not wrapping his arms around you. All right, Brody, your turn. Okay. There we go. Ready? Brody James Hashizo Amiel Asam. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You are now marked as Christ's own. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God and Heavenly Father, we thank you that you make us new persons in Jesus Christ. Through grace alone, we pray for Brooklyn and Brody. Bless and strengthen them daily with the gift of your Holy Spirit. Unfold to them the riches of your love and deepen their faith. Keep them from the power of evil. Enable them to live a holy and shameless life until your kingdom comes. As for Glenn and Danielle, look with kindness on these parents. Let them always rejoice in the gift you have given them. Grant them the presence of your Holy Spirit, that they may bring up these children to know you, to love you, and serve you and their family, folks and friends, and all your people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then I got candles that are blessed, and I'm going to have them light a candle. And these candles, I'm going to write what, or tell you what I had written for them. Danielle and Glenn mean so much to me that I get filled up. And for them to come to this place with their children is very, very special. So you can sit down. The light of the world. This is the light that darkness cannot overcome. Not even when you scream or yell during having being baptized. Light warms us and encourages us. It gives us safety and illuminates the way ahead for each of us. This candle can burn brightly through our walk with Jesus Christ in good times and not so good times. As Brooklyn and Brody are baptized now and for always, we pray they are always awakened by the flame of faith every day. The color white of the candle speaks to us of their new life, purity, newness, and innocence. It is the sign of a new life of the resurrection. And then what I'm going to do is have you light the candle. And then just, just the fact that you're lighting the candle isn't that you're making a promise and you both just put it in there and that's all, that's all you do. And then you can as I say this prayer, and you can put it out afterwards and save them for these children. But may the lighting of their baptismal candle seal their promises to God and the promises that you have made today that you are covering your child in Jesus Christ. That both your children, through thick, thin, evil, good times, bad times, Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior. And you have done something extremely special today. And with all the people that are here today, this is a covenant between our dear Lord Jesus and our God and Savior. I mean, it's just, I, I can't even come up with the words to tell you how important it is. And now, all that are gathered here, we receive Brooklyn and Brody are now part of Christ's church, as all of us are, Christ, are of Christ's church. This is his kingdom. There are no walls and you can go to him at any time. I charge all of us here to nurture them, to let them know your feelings, your beliefs of Jesus Christ. I pray that even with today, with tears or not wanting to do something, that maybe at a later date you can, can explain to them how important it is today that no matter what happens, They've got Christ in their life, and they're, he's only a prayer away. And if we can all say a resounding amen. 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 They're baptized. Amen. And thank you all. Thank you, God.